Aren't these the Pokemon that are like Snake and Mongoose rivals? Oh. Oh. I better not break them up. I better let them fight to the death. It's the only... It's the only ethical thing to do. Here I am, back on Route 114. Seriously, how did we get to 114? I don't think in Kanto and Johto there were that many. Oh, who the fuck is it? Ha 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 ha! The fuck? What the fuck, Trent? Why are you calling me while you're trying to climb? Just focus on climbing. You're probably going to give yourself a heart attack. You're going to overexert yourself and run out of breath while you're trying to talk. Now it's steeper. Great. Yeah, you better hang up. Can you believe people? Like, can you believe how illogical people can be? Emerald version is doing a better job of Sapphire at, like, emulating the real world in that sense. Okay. Uh, anyway. There's supposed to be, in Sapphire at least, there was a Pokemon I found on this route. Oh, it's a Nuzleaf! Look at that! That's not what I'm looking for. There's a Pokemon I found on this route. That I want to catch. I'm assuming it's still here in Emerald. We'll see. I'm gonna look for a bit. Who am I gonna want to fight it with? Maybe... Sudistic, actually. I think so. If it's here. I already know just from finding Seed Otter and Nuzleaf in this game. But the Pokemon found in the wild are changed a little bit in places. Hopefully, this isn't another Seed Ot situation. Back at the start of the game when I tried to find Seedot and couldn't do it until I spent a lot of time off recording looking because I was stubborn and persistent. Swablu. I don't want you, Swablu. Go away. I mean, if it looks like it's taking forever, I'll eventually just move on, because I have things to do. I have to get to Meteor Falls. There are also trainers around here to fight. Be nice to fight him with a new Pokemon. I would love to have a new Pokemon that I could uh, give a share of the experience, since the two I'm using are getting quite... quite buff. Buff enough, you know, that I could share experience around to a third Pokemon. Come on. Tell me it's here. I'm a little nervous because I don't know for sure it's here. I haven't looked it up recently. 
trying not to just look up everything. I may just move on for now. I'll be walking through this grass a few more times as I go back and forth, you know. Lynette. Yeah, this place is a mess. I don't want that. It's trash. I'm gonna sell it. Not a problem. I'm never gonna have enough that I need to worry about one entire box being filled. I've like very rarely in a Pokemon game ever filled up an entire box or two. Like never more than that, certainly. Yeah, be very. I feel like I should just walk through this grass a little more right now. I'm not sure how rare it was in Sapphire, this one I'm looking for, but it could be a little rare. It might just take a little persistence. Bear with me. If it's here, I think it will be worth it. I think it will be awesome. It's here! That's it! A female. Savoypa! A Savoypa appeared! <laughs> She's a beauty! <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure Rock Smash will not kill it. Do Rock Smash. That's what I'm talking about. Defense is lowered, but I can do it one more time at least. This is it. This will be the third Pokemon I catch and make a member of my team. If all goes well. Hopefully I can catch it. It might be hard. I have 18 Pokeballs to lob at it. Let's see. Can't really inflict any status ailments. I don't have an easy way to do that. I don't think I have any way to do that. Come on. So it is somewhat rare. Took a while to find one. Sev Viper. Please. Please. If things get dire, I might try another Rock Smash if I'm, like, just gonna run out of Pokeballs entirely. Oh shit. It's not... It's not very catchable, this one. It's quite resistant. Look at that. It is having none of this. Please. Shit. No, not even close. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's wrapping the seed stick to death. Oh, fuck. That was the best I've had. One wiggle. The Pokeball lasted one wiggle. Damn it. Most of the time it's zero wiggles. 
Don't lick me. Don't lick Sedistic. Wow. What a weird snake. Come on. No. Okay. You're about to kill Sedistic. I don't care. I'll just send out. I'll send out Helican if I have to. Keep throwing Pokeballs. Nope. A critical lick. Holy shit! It paralyzed us with that critical lick. Wow. This is a brutal survivor. I want it. I want it. Please. No. Well, I guess that was unavoidable. I can't believe this. Go ahead and confuse it. See if it knocks off a bit more HP. See if that helps my chances. Oh, oh. Hurts itself one more time and I won't get a chance. It'll take itself out. Oh. Oh. Yes! Survivor was got. Damn. That was exciting. That was an exciting Pokemon capture. I didn't know if I was going to do it. Things weren't going well. Seviper and Zangoose are eternal rivals. It counters as Zangoose's dazzling agility with its sword-like tail, which also oozes a horrible poison. That's what I'm talking about. That's like a Gen 1 old-school style Pokedex entry. Oozes a horrible poison. Think about that. A sword that oozes poison. That's horrible, by the way. Not just any poison. So here's the backstory with the Seviper. It once stole a roast chicken that some person somewhere was roasting over a fire. It stole it, ate it, acquired a taste for cooked meat, and now the Seviper prefers its prey cooked as opposed to, you know, a normal snake that would typically just eat stuff raw. So now it's called Big Snake. <laughs> it's perfect. It's Big Snake. And Big Snake's dream, due to its newfound taste for cooked meat, is to be able to cook its own meat with its own flame that it spits. It wants to learn a fire move. And so I'm gonna do that. I have plans. I know that it can learn flamethrower. And there's a TM for that. I gotta hit the Pokemon Center. There's a TM for that, but it's gonna be expensive. I need to go to the game corner pay an obscene amount of money for a lot of coins that it's going to cost. And I think I'm only about halfway there in saving for that TM. But I'm going to do it. And Bake Snake is going to learn Flamethrower, and it's going to be able to cook its own meat. I'm going to help it achieve that, because I know how much it likes to eat things cooked. And I care about my Pokemon that much. I'm going to save up for that TM, just for it. Just for you, Big Snake. Alright. Another Pokemon! So exciting, and it's quirky. It's perfect. It's like it was meant to be, that backstory. What is more quirky than a snake that wants its meat cooked? Perfect. 
Shed skin ability. Heals the body by shedding. That's a really awesome ability. I like that. It's like a super, super useful regenerative ability. Meaning it could be paralyzed, frozen, burnt, and it might just like heal itself spontaneously by shedding its skin. Right, look and wrap. So, not the best moves yet. Doesn't even know a poison move. But it'll learn some. So cool. I love the animation. I love its sprite. I love its colors. The purple, black, and gold. That's cool. It's just a really awesome Pokemon design. Um, lead with... Uh, lead with Helican. For the moment. Actually, we should probably do the switch. Well, we'll wait till we're at a trainer. I'm gonna switch uh, Bake Snake out instantly, probably, to get an easy experience since my other two Pokemon are so tough. And Bake Snake's probably gonna struggle a little bit, most likely. Nice, though. I'm super happy to have a Sviper. It's always kind of been like, you know, in the handful of times I've played this game, 7th or 8th in my list of priorities in terms of Pokemon I want to put on my team. So I just won't get to it. Because there were others I wanted to try using in this game. But no longer. No longer. In this playthrough, I will be using a Viper and making it strong and taking it all the way. Probably should have had it out first here to get experience, but double battle, it's okay. Take that down and um, you just faint attack at or the Rosalia. Oh. Didn't expect that. Faint attack killed it. Sedistic is too strong. Growth. Yes, we do have an amazing battle style, thank you for noticing. Okay. Let's put it out front. I can switch out if it's in trouble or looking like it's at a disadvantage. Just gotta get it some experience. Get it going, you know. You won't like Pokemon battles anymore when I'm through with you. Booger will scar you. Booger will make you fear Pokemon battles and dread them forever. Just wait. Now you face the Helican. That's right, curl into the fetal position. Curl into the field position and just give up on life. Her Sanju has no hope. A Nuzleaf. I'm gonna see if I can mess with this Nuzleaf. If uh, Big Snake gets in trouble, I can bail it out. Lick it. My goal is to paralyze it with a lick. It's lame, but, you know, there we go. No payoff. 
Now we'll do a wrap. And now just start biting. Gradually suffocate it with wrap. Oh fuck, a critical hit. It's struggling. Don't give in. Damn it. Ugh. I'm gonna build out. I, I just have to build out. It's a little under leveled for this fight. No, I just wanted, just wanted to give it a shot. Just wait till there's a poison attack, then it would be able to totally KO a grass type like the snow leaf. It did pretty well. Yeah, not bad. Let's not bother to go to a Pokemon Center, let's just keep switching Big Snake until it levels up a bit. Foo 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 foo. I've never quite I've never quite understood the oofoo foo whenever that appears in dialogue in a Pokemon game. Is that a laugh noise? It might be a Japanese translation little thing that didn't translate to English well, who knows? Aaron. We need we need water. I can't believe both my other Pokemon are level 30 plus. That's crazy. They really got strong. With me relying on both of them only for so long. There we go. His stat increases. Poison Tail. Sick. That's what I'm talking about. This is good, that I found another Pokemon to rely on. You'll make it so I can't forget? Oh, I should have known. You're gonna call me. That's how you're gonna make me not forget, right? You're just gonna call me and make me remember your existence when I really don't want to and would rather forget you exist at all. Lumpy and hard? A weirdo. So many weirdos. Carbos. That's another drug sort of item. You know, this is a this is a matter of personal philosophy and ethics, but I don't like to drug my Pokemon. I don't really think it's ethical. Should we be giving our Pokemon drugs? Giving them basically like steroids? Should we be doing that? Is that really good? I don't think it's a good practice. You know, I'm just gonna randomly poison tail this low tab. Let's see how this works. Yes, critical hit. Good job, Big Snake. Hmm, growing fast too. fast is this thing? It's not like the fastest, right? Yeah, speed 28. It's not a fair comparison yet with the other two. Due to being under leveled. Luckily I can still run from a Swablu. This is the nice thing about always having a Pokemon with you with HM moves. You just smash through rock and find more drugs. Since I'm ethically against 
drug use on my Pokemon, like, you know, we're all natural. We're all like, my Pokemon are all natural, we don't do drugs. We don't do performance enhancing drugs, I'll say. Other drugs I won't address. But, yeah, I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell that. Carbos or whatever. Whatever other things like that I find, I'm just gonna sell them for cash. So that I can teach Bake Snake how to use Flamethrower. I need to buy that TM. Basically, it will have utility because Survivor has decent special attack as well as attack. Like, they're both pretty high stats for it. So, you can make good use of the flamethrower. And I'm not going to be catching a fire type. I'll just. I'm not going to reveal too much about future Pokemon I intend to catch and put on my team because I think it's more exciting that way. But I'll reveal I'm not going to be catching any fire types. So the use of flamethrower is going to be valuable on one of my Pokemon. A nice surprise. For someone who wouldn't expect a snake to breathe fire. A wingle. I'm going to just keep switching like this. For a little bit. It's just an easy pain free way to level up a Pokemon that's a bit behind. I can't remember when I got experience share in Sapphire. I'm guessing it's probably the same sort of place in this game. Kindler. I literally dashed it with water gun. Trying to kindle a relationship, are we? By getting in by Pokenev contacts? No, good advice. Good advice. I respect that. He's. Reaching awareness about preventing forest fires, that's good. A lot of trainers in uh, Hoenn, they've got very ethical messages in their dialogue, I've noticed this. They're a little more idealistic and like care a little more about the world, it seems, than people in other places. Just noticing, just being observant. Relative to other Pokemon regions, you know? a little more in Hoenn, I feel. Look at this guy, giving you advice about being in the mountains. In Kanto, they... Hikers in Kanto just don't do that. Maybe there's one that does, I don't know. I don't remember. character dialogue was also a bit more primitive back then since, you know, it was on the Game Boy. <laughs> Gotta account for that, too. Gotta consider that. And you more. Hopefully Bake Snake can offer some needed support in the uh, Lava Ridge gym when I get there. Otherwise Helicon's just going to be kind of all alone because, you know, I can't be using a grass type too much in a fire gym. 
even at its high level, it probably won't last too long. Especially against the gym leader. She's dangerous. He's right. Mountains do turn deadly with blizzards and avalanches in the winter. Good advice. He's just full of useful, uh, considerate mountain advice, that guy. I have made them evolve very much. Twice. Two of them already have. Thank you for expressing interest. Allow me to show you their power and make you a victim of said power. Mm, grass type. If I was at full HP, I might fight it. But I didn't think to heal it, so switch I do. That will do nothing. All hope is lost, Lomber. Look to the sky in despair for the wing attack. Death on wings. As annoying as this is, I'm gonna keep doing it. I gotta consider my lowest level Pokemon. Give it a chunk of every experience I can. Fire the bullet seed. May stat increases. It is good to know how inferior and weak you are, right? Booker <laughs> is such an arrogant jerk. It is startling, I agree. Startling and awesome. In an awesome way, you know? Surprising in a cool way instead of an oh no way. Let's just pump my snake full of potions. Use these up. Give it more of a shot if it ever finds itself up against something it can fight. Are you trying to start a rock slide? This guy's not considerate. He's just kind of dumb. Lenny. Stop trying to... Stop trying to cause rock slides with your voice. I'm not sure if that actually has ever happened. Maybe it hasn't. I think it maybe has with avalanches. I think that's more more the common stereotype. Me champ. Level 18 versus 18. I don't think fighting types are at an advantage really against poison types. I wonder if I could take it on. It would probably be kind of a slog. Let's just make it quicker. Wing attack it. 
I consider time investment in these battles too. The quickest route is the best route, often. So you can just get on with it. Sometimes you can get trapped, wasting a lot of time on a bad Pokemon matchup. <laughs> he was dumb then. I'm not gonna tell that to his face, but he was dumb. Rustboro, city through here. I wonder if Meteor Falls will look different. Other caves I've been in so far looked different than Sapphire. Oh, it does look different. The rock is like a darker hue. I like it. Oh, but it's like lighter hued right here. That's cool. That's cool. This looks better graphically. I approve of this change. Oh, Hionish. This place has really cool music. Really cool music. Team Magma. I think I remember seeing both Sapphire and Magma here in Sapphire. <laughs> Let me reword that. I saw both Magma and Aqua here in Sapphire. I keep. keep misspeaking when I talk about them. Waterfall. Hence Meteor Falls. Being the name. Soul Rock. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Soul Rock and Lunatone. Those are kind of interesting Pokemon. I've never felt like training one. Let's just kill this one with a dark move. I know it's psychic. Oh, that would have been strong against Helican. Magma's threatening us. Who's this? Oh, it's Archie. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, Archie's voice because I gave him a, p a pirate voice earlier. That's his thing. He's like all about being a pirate. If he speaks, we'll see. Team Aqua Dingbats. I love the insult Dingbat. That's such a great insult. It's not used enough. Dingbats. Didn't I see you before? At Slate Parts Museum? Ah, so your name is Bugar. No, it's Bugger. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. Um, you're one of Odd Kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. <laughs> they engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. Yes, yes, we must. We've got to Harari. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Ugar, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. 
Farwell. <laughs> Have fun, Archie. He's got an imagination. I, I envy that. I respect that, actually. He can have fun being a pirate. I, I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meteorite away. And then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma. What are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? I'm putting more effort into some voices than others. <laughs> he was like a third tier voice actor character, you know? <laughs> Keep plundering Meteor Falls. I'm going to plunder all of its treasures. I'm surprised Archie didn't. He's the pirate. You'd think he'd be more obsessed with plunder. Moonstone. I don't think I'll have any Pokemon I can use a Moonstone on. There aren't that many. Especially in this game. I'm just gonna go look at the bottom of this cave real quick. Actually, I may just Let me look at my map real quick. I can go here. Yeah, then I can go through this cave and get back there. It'd be easy. Go through, go through the tunnel. I was watching the Lord of the Rings recently, again. I watched them, those movies so many times. I thought so. Trainers to fight. Oh, I'm butting in. We're butting in. Booger's butting in. Battle girl meet Booger. And Bake Snake. I don't want to leave a poison tape in against a Pokemon that's pretty psychic. If Bake Snake can get like around level 20, I'm guessing it'll be at a level that could be, you know, competitive in the gym. I'm not sure how high level Lava Ridge gym trainers will be exactly. I don't remember. I've only played through Sapphire probably about five times ever total in my life. Relative to like, you know, Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow, which I've played through probably like, no lie, 50 times plus. <laughs> I've played through those games more than any other game ever. Because I played through them as a kid, and then I kept replaying them like every year or every few years <laughs> since then. Not quite as frequently as an adult, but still occasionally because I like him that much.
Yes. Screech. Hmm. I think... I think Big Snake might learn... Glare later. And I really only care about Lick for its paralysis, paralyzing ability. So I'm going to just replace it with Screech, even though I probably won't keep Screech long term. Could come in useful. Come in handy occasionally for a while. But like training you over here. Busting bricks with your forehead? How many concussions do you have? How many concussions have you had, knob? It's really not a good practice, even for a martial artist. Like, you just shouldn't do that. Care about your brain. Care about your brain, knob. People may be wondering. I've shared the backstory of uh, Cedistic and also Bake Snake. But I never said much about Heligan. Even back when it was Grimgol the Wingle. Grimgol the Wingle. Your head is busted. I told you not to do that, stupid. See a doctor before we rematch. Anyway. Heligan. It doesn't really have a backstory, it's just kind of... I mean, look into those eyes. It's vacant. It doesn't really care, it doesn't really give a shit about whatever happens. It's just kind of okay with anything. You know? <laughs> it doesn't really have a backstory. Also, it's bashful. Mine's bashful. My Pelipper is bashful, which just means... It blushes after every kill. I almost walked into a trap. Let's see what's out here. You know, it gets a little embarrassed when it utterly eviscerates and obliterates its enemies. It's like... It does that and then it's... Oh, a little bashful and embarrassed about its power. But it had the ability to demolish its foes into dust. Pokemon. You. I'm gonna take one of them out before they ambush me. This guy's twitchy. Take him out first. Oh, he's a rare Pokemon. Collector. I don't identify with your life philosophy as a trainer, Collector Hector. And I don't appreciate that your little name rhymes in a cute way. Aren't these two enemies? Aren't these the Pokemon that are like Snake and Mongoose rivals? Oh. Oh. I better not break them up. I better let them fight to the death. It's the only... It's the only ethical thing to do. Surely. Poison tail. It's got nothing on yet. Oh, look at that. 
Beery Cutter. What a loser. What a loser. Do you have nothing else to use? A bug move on a poison type? Fool. Your Zangoose deserves that for your incompetence. Good. You have a Seviper. Bring it. Bring it, you know. Yours is level 18. I can handle this. I'll take you down. You screech. Not afraid. Ho ho ho. That's good damage for a rat. Oh no. Critical bullshit. Wait, his survivor. Take that. We're both wrapping each other. Like, there are two survivors just like tangled up right now. It's kind of a mess. You can't appreciate that with the two sprites. It doesn't represent this, but they're just. It's, it looks like spaghetti. The battlefield looks like spaghetti right now. Writhing spaghetti. <laughs> Good. End this. Fake snake's starting to hold its own. No, I don't want your Pokemon. You suck. Mine's better, and I just proved it. Well, good. Glad you're satisfied with your lame Pokemon, loser. Loser who I beat. Let's give Big Snake a potion. I'll be punished for it? Oh. I'll be punished for it. <laughs> we'll see. Psychic. Oh, I have a plan for you. I have something for you. I have a dark type. A dark type you will be helpless to do anything against. Ha! Ah, doesn't affect it. See? Stupid. Didn't expect that, did you? You lose. Boink! She has a spoink. Give Big Snake a piece of this spoink. Do the same thing. Spoink will faint from faint attack. Goodbye. I broke more than your concentration. I broke your dreams and your will. More drugs. People just leaving their performance enhancing drugs littered all over the place. <sighs> you know. No words. So, looking on the Pokedev. I've done a big circle. Explored everywhere I can except Lava Ridge. On this western part of Hoenn, basically. Let's see if I can go over there now. Might just have Bake Snake get a little bit of easy experience along the way. A little bit of a little bit of low, low level Pokemon experience. 
an edge up there. It's nice that I've bought everybody, so I don't have to worry about being delayed as I walk around anymore in this area. Turf tunnel now. Waste this Wismer. So cool to finally be using a Sviper. I like its poison tail move. And I'm pretty sure I can learn at least one more poison move later that has good use. Poison Tail is pretty good too, though. Could be using my bike to go faster right now, but running is good enough. Maybe I'll just hit a Pokemon Center real quick. Do we need it? Eh, we could use a little heal. If this game is anything like Sapphire, then... Cable Car... should be... Not blocked anymore. Not blocked by those magma goons that were blocking it before. Good. Cable car is ready to go up. Nice. And just like I remember in Sapphire, there's a clash up here. Foe. Keep making more land. How are you going to do that? You can't make land. That's bullshit. Whoa, look at his Pushiana. It's like... It's like had a few coffees. His is moving three times as fast as the other ones. What thing... Gar, Bogar. I should have guessed you would show up. See far yourself what the fanatics of Team Magma are up to. Thar trying to inject the stolen meteor its power into the volcano. Doing something like that will cause the volcano's eruption. Okay. The eruption. Eruption. Their name is confusing, and what did you say? I mean, it just has team in common. What about Team Rocket? What do you have to say about ripping off Team Rocket, dude? 
They were in Akanto and Johto, you know it. I think I might have to fight these... these ones here. Let's go for it. You think that will help you with getting a house, huh? What a selfish reason. What a selfish motive. You will face Helican. Your dream of a big house. Strive for a nobler end to work for, you know? What does that mean, splashing about in the waves? What are you talking about? Only if I lived by the ocean. What a weird thing to say. Are you or are you just working for getting a house for yourself? You know, more places to live for you. Like, what about the sea creatures? Hmm? Did you think about that? Did you think about their habitat? They didn't think. They're not considerate. Can I take down his Zubat? It'd be quicker if I use Helican, I think. I mean, you lost. Plain as that. You've been misled. You've been led astray by your boss. And what does this meteorite do? Like, what are they actually doing with the meteorite? What is it doing for them, you know? It's just a rock. I think they're just some kind of strange cultist. You know, some kind of cult. Some kind of cult that believes in the power of meteorites or something. But they have fantastical power. They're all just stupid. We're going to set you straight. Elekin will set you straight. Kushiena? So this is sort of like a sub-boss or mid-boss, an admin. First time I've fought a magma admin. They were always aqua admins in Sapphire. New experience. Try to kill this Pusiana on your own, big snake. Ho ho, look at that. Very nice. Probably isn't even going to touch it. Great job. Nice thing about Saviper is 
it's one of those Pokemon that doesn't evolve, so it's already, you know, its stats are already as strong as it's going to be. Which is to say, stronger than first stage of any Pokemon that does evolve, typically. So since I'm fighting Magma right now, I'm guessing Archie's gonna be up here? Or, um... Not Archie. The Magma guy. The Magma leader dude. What was his name? I forgot. Maxi, right? Maxi. Your cult beliefs are not going to come true. You need to be de-brainwashed. Meteorites don't have the energy you think they do. Maybe I better take this next battle seriously and lead with, um, lead with Helican. Don't do any switching. Looks like I'm gonna fight Maxi. 11 hours in. Three batches. Showdown on Mount Chimney. Coming up in the next episode. Join me in the next episode, where we will see how we fare against the leader of Team Magma.